up, boys and girls, and welcome back to your math lesson. I am Miss Moran. Today, we will continue reviewing the words more, less, and saying. So let's review them quickly, and then we're going to start with our activity so that we can practice recognizing what those words mean. Remember, more means when you have a lot. That group has a lot. More in Spanish is más. Quien tiene más. Less means it has a little. See how this one has a little bit and this one has more? A little. Less means a little. In Spanish, less means menos. El que tiene menos o el que tiene más poquito. Que tiene poquito. And then the other word or vocabulary word that we are practicing and learning is same. So same is also known as equal. That's when you have two groups with the same amount of things. So here we have three balls in this group. And then on this other group, we have three balls. So they're the same. Three and three is the same number, right? Okay. So now that we reviewed more, less, or the same, now we're going to practice. Okay. So let's get started with our activities. Just remember, more is when the group has a lot or the most, and less is when the group has a little bit. And the same is when both of them have the same amount. So if this one has three, this one has three. They're both the same, okay? So our activities are going to look very similar to yesterday's activities and homework, except that today we're going to be um, using cookies instead of candy. So I'm going to read the question. It says, which group has more? So we have to decide if group one has more, if group two has more, or if they have the same amount. This is... It says right here, same. Okay, so group one has one, two, and three. So group one has three, three cookies. And then group two has one, two, three, and four. So this one has three and this one has four. Which one has more? Is it group one, group two, or they both have the same? Try to give me the answer before I move the circle to the correct answer. And group number two has more. This one has more cookies. Group two has more cookies than group one. All right. Let's go to the next question. Now we're looking for which group has less. Remember, less is the one that has a little bit. So is it group one or group two? Let's count the cookies just to make sure. This one has one, two, three. Group one has three cookies and group two has one, two, three, four cookies. So which one has less? Is it group one, group two, or they're just the same? Group one and group two have the same amount. Which one do you think? Give me the answer now. And the answer is group one. Group one has less cookies than group two. Okay, good job. For the last question in our activity, it says which group has less? So we're going to decide if group one has less, if group two has less, or if they're just the same. What do you think? Let's count the cookies. Group one has one and two. Group one has two cookies. Group one has two cookies, and then group two has one and two. Group two also has two cookies. They both have two cookies. So they are the same. Both groups have the same amount of cookies. Group one has two, and group two has two. So they're the same. Okay, so now that we did that activity, let's take a look at our homework. Okay, for today's homework, um, like yesterday, um, the first uh, slide or the first page or the first thing that I put for you is this picture to help you remember what more means, what less means, and what the same means, okay? So when you're working on your problems and you don't remember what more means, you can go up here and look at it and then you'll be able to remember. So today, again, you're going to have three different uh, questions. And um, we're also working with the cookies again, but it's going to be different amounts. Up here, you have your question. So the person who's working at home with you can read it for you. Or you can also click here and push play and I'll read it for you. This is the oval that we're going to move. So you're going to decide if the answer is going to be group one or if the answer is going to be group two. Or is it going to be the same amount? Both groups have the same amount or equal amount. Okay, so you're going to have those three uh, questions right here. 
So I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Remember, we're learning about more, less, and the same or equal because it's important for us to learn or to be able to be or to be able to look at groups and to figure out which one has more, which one has less, because that will tell you the value of each group or the value of each thing to know if one person has more than the other. All right, so I will let you go and I will see you here tomorrow. Bye-bye.